Well, one of the most pivotal, important moments on The Daily Show, and for me, and for a lot of people, I'm sure, is uh, the first show back after 9-11. Mm. Um, you said something that resonated. Um, one of your first memories is Dr. King being murdered, and you were five years yeah. old. And you talked about the first responders being sort of the tangible, even if for a temporary moment, mm -hmm. version of what Dr. King's dream was supposed to be about. Right. We didn't judge people by their skin, by their religion, where they're from, their creed, whatever. If you showed up in that moment, you were judged by your actions. Right. And you were moved to tears when you spoke on this. Right. In 2004, I performed, thanks to my partner Donna, um, I performed at a benefit thrown by John Field, the Feel Good Foundation. Oh, okay. You know, and that's, and so we have a connect there. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's for, a beast. He's a beast for 9 11 first responders. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, this, uh, in 2019, you're, you had a speech that went viral that some people like to credit or think helped with the passing of the Victims' Compensation Fund reauthorization. This is activism. Um, right. did, you, did you have an activist background before you started doing this type of stuff? No. Hmm. And, and, you know, look, it's, some of it is, a, is learning. Mm -hmm. Some of it is awakening. Some of it is trying to deal with your own blind spots. Like, I'm a comic. Mm -hmm. Comics are detached. We stand in the back and we don't participate. You've said, you said we, we, we're, we're, we're in the back of the class throwing spitballs. Yeah, man. Which is an we, apt metaphor. You, you don't participate because participating is... Seth, Seth MacFarlane said, I'm not the hero. I'm the guy in the crowd making fun of the hero's shirt. Done. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he did that, and he said that as a talking dog. Yes. Was, <laughs> that's the part that is the best part of it. Right. But yeah, that's, that's exactly right. And it sometimes takes humbling to understand, because it's also, I don't like performative activism. That's right. I've never been a fan of uh, the activism that, draws attention but without regard for outcome mm -hmm. that and and can be antithetical to the aims of of what you're trying to do but i've been judgmental mm. the show has always been my uh contribution mm. right so when we first were trying to get it passed in 2010 we did episodes on it shame you know the idea would be if my contribution would be to provide some minor air cover for those in the trenches who are actually fighting but after that, I got in drop ball with John and started to meet these guys and go down to Washington because they had to renew it in mm -hmm. five years. And these guys that were sick and dying had to go down to Washington. And I became more familiar with the path that they had to walk on mm -hmm. to provide for those that were too sick to walk on it or couldn't go down there. And I saw the grind, like the grind that we appreciate for our art. You know, you know rappers and MCs that have done the grind mm -hmm. and you respect them. You respect the calluses. You respect the grind. Mm -hmm. I respect the grind for comics. Right. Uh, I understand when someone's put in the work, right. seeing them put in the work mm -hmm. changed my perspective on, on what activism was. Right. And so I tried to apply myself to that aspect of it as well, to not just be air support, but hopefully be a, a part in strategic planning to create yeah. the, the movements that can maybe get momentum yeah. in, into these things. Yeah, you didn't stop there. Uh, what you spoke about just now, I, I think about when you used to be like, shame works. <laughs> <laughs> it, but, but you know what, I, and, and the more you learn about shame, the more you learn that it has to be sustained shame right shame that they don't believe they can dodge because right these guys man it's fucking dodgeball mm -hmm. and they know that if your arm gets tired they're done right. and they will wait you out so my what i tried to do in our strategies was close every window and door because they'll find the crack mm -hmm. they'll find where the draft is and they'll find their way out that's your journalistic style as well your interview style you try to you yeah. try to close off avenues of escape mm -hmm. and obfuscation. And, and if you can do that, now they got to deal with you. Integrity. Yeah. And hopefully that, that they don't, then they know they can't escape mm -hmm. without dealing with the problem. Stuck in it, call me young, go get it.
can't fuck with it, my love won't win.